Hello everyone, welcome back to EVE Online. Today we'll be looking at the final iteration of the Crucible expansion here on Sissy. Um, first and foremost, they, CCP said that they were going to work on the backdrop of the stars and everything, you know, when you're flying around in space. And just at a glance, it looks, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like they're a lot more polished. A few of them are more shiny. You can see that more of them stand out. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um... Next thing that we're going to look at, I guess, is the uh, new nebulae. We've already seen a lot of extensive f footage of the new nebulae in other videos and such, but uh, currently I'm in Tashmarkon Prime. Uh, this nebula here is the main nebula for the Tashmarkon region. It's a very pretty nebula. I like it a lot. Um, that one down there, I think, is Corazor, I think. And this one across over here looks like somewhere in Mimitar space, judging by the color. They have more of a rusty red sort of theme to their space. Okay, so here's another view of the nebula from the Corazor side. You can see that pretty green emerald color, I don't know, kind of jadish with the red mixed in there. It looks really cool. Um, for some reason I can't see the Tashmarkon nebula from here. I don't know why. But uh, this one over here looks a lot like that one that I uh, mentioned was Minmatar that I saw from the Tashmarkon region. It's got that reddish rusty color. It's pretty cool. Um, next thing we're going to look at is the engine trails. Let's see here. Now, I wasn't around for the original engine trails, but uh, from what I can see, they do look a little cool. I, I like them a lot. Yeah, anyway. They're pretty cool. Um, flying around with my engine trails. I don't really understand why there are engine trails. Personally, that's just me. Um, they're, they're cool. They're fun. And I know that a lot of people want them, so I'm good with that. Um, next thing to show you is the new warp effect. Let's see here. Warp drive active. Right off the bat, it just looks like you're going so much faster than you were before, and there's all these like little like lightning-y, electricity kind of cool things going around inside the warp tunnel. Um, and you can also see, you know, look around the sun, you can see that it's a lot more wavy looking. It's kind of cool. Uh, let me see when I come out of warp around the planet. So you can see the waves coming off the planet like that. It looks really awesome. I like that so much. Yeah, okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is the jump button. I mean, like, of course, you know, you can warp to a Stargate and jump, but they made it so that now, when you are, like, say, halfway across the solar system and you want to jump on contact, you can just push jump, and it'll warp automatically, warp and then time. as soon as you hit the gate, it'll jump for you. Got a little messing up. You can hear the lasers firing even though there's no one around. See, I didn't even click jump or anything, it just jumped for me, and now we are in domain region, the home region of the Amara. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to show you for now. Go ahead and leave a comment if you feel like it. Uh, yeah. Fly safe.